Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe down below. Now today I am going to be talking about some of my hits and my misses for the month of March. Which is over and April's almost halfway through already. It's ridiculous. And it's so nasty outside. When is spring coming? I've already recorded this once. So we're going to go through this fast. The good thing is I'm eliminating some products. So hopefully this is shorter than the first one. Now I want to talk about two hits, both from the drugstore. One is the City Color B Matte Blush in the shade Pink Grapefruit. I absolutely love this. This is such a pretty blush. It's obviously matte, but it's such a pretty pink, you guys. You can see this here. And I have it on right now. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's really pretty. It goes great with, I would say, any skin tone. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial, I think, with some pinks, like a really girly look. So I'm excited to use this blush in it. Now, the next hit I want to talk about is so exciting for me because I have been looking for a highlighter that I absolutely love. I have some from e.l.f. I have one from Ulta that I dropped and it shattered. So, unfortunately, I haven't been able to use it. So I was looking for a good highlighter. The only thing I didn't like with my e.l.f. one was... I don't know what shade this was. Pink Tastic. Maybe this was a blush, but it was too pink for a highlighter for me, for my skin. It just didn't work for me. So I have this eyeshadow and I have it's Maybelline Expert Wear eyeshadow in the shade Champagne Fizz. It's just a single, as you can see. But I didn't like it as an eyeshadow because it has almost a bluish undertone in it. It seems, and when I put it on my eyelids with the veins and like even for my inner eye it was just it made my eyes look too blue so I wasn't liking it for that but I was looking through my makeup box looking for a highlighter and I found this and I absolutely love it so I just use like this is an eco tools um, blush brush but just to dust it on my cheeks like this I don't know if you can see this here but it's such a gorgeous highlight so if you guys are looking for a good highlight from the drugstore Think outside the box, look at some of the eyeshadows and maybe you can find something that will work with your skin tone. I definitely um, recommend, I definitely recommend the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow and Champagne Fizz. So check it out, please. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, should I give you guys one of my misses for this month? I think so. I bought this palette from the dollar store. Maybe that was my first mistake, you know? The only thing is, it's by LA Colors, and I really do like their lipsticks. They go on really good, so I thought I'd try their eyeshadow. I'm not a big fan. This is the Day to Night palette in the shade Sunset. It comes with 12 eyeshadows. They're pretty little, but um, it tells you on the back, too, to pick four shades and then how to use them, which is nice if you need a little chart here. But the colors... A lot of them are very pigmented. The only problem is they just don't stay on. Even like I used my setting spray with my brushes and tried to put them on and this just didn't work. And they're pretty shades. Like I, in my previous video that I recorded before this one, I did swatch two of the shades here. So I'll just show them to you. I didn't, here, I'll show you three of them. These are three of my favorite. I don't, I want to show you on this hand because it's already covered in liquid lipsticks. Let me just show you here. I'll show you on my arm, I guess. But here's three of the shades. So you can see they're really pigmented. They're really pretty. The only thing is they just, they don't stay and they're kind of crumbly in the first place. So you can imagine they just pretty much crumble off your eyelid. Now the Hit palette I want to show you, I'm really excited about. This is the Hard Candy palette in Birthday Suit. And I love this palette. They're all matte shades. They're really pretty. You get four neutrals. Uh, two grays, three browns, one's a warm brown, two are cool browns, and then navy blue. I don't use the navy blue, but the rest of them I use. I use all of these. They're great to mix with like a shimmery color or a glitter or just to use as a base or transition colors. They're really pretty. The brown, um, the darker brown makes a great like eyeliner for your lower lash line. I think if you buy this palette, you won't be disappointed with it. They have great shadows. They're great. Um, great pigmentation, great color payoff. I think you guys would really like this. So definitely recommend this. I think it's only $8, so definitely worth it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about two singles. One is a hit and one is a miss. 
The hit is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Bay. Absolutely love the shadow. It's a duo crown. It's have um, it's a red with a blue, like to shine to it. Don't focus on me. Focus on my finger. Okay, if you can see that right there. And I absolutely love 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 this shadow. It's creamy. It goes on so great. You can even use a brush with it. I know a lot of people use their fingers, which goes on better. But you can use a brush. It's so pretty. It's totally worth your money. And I want to say it was only $6. The reason I like the shadow so much is because I wanted a dual chrome shadow. I'm trying to compare it to a shadow here that I can't get open right now. Okay. What I wanted was a dual chrome shadow. And I found one at... I don't remember where it was. But I found one. It's in this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And this shade down here is the duochrome, and I'll just show you guys the difference between the ColourPop one and this one. So if you're looking for a duochrome shadow with like a blue-green sheen, you can, I mean, this is a great one. You don't have to buy one online, but I definitely recommend this palette as well. So you can see this is the Wet n Wild one, and then this is the Com or ColourPop Comfort Zone Wet n Wild palette, and then Comfort Pop Bay. So they're both very beautiful. Watch them on the other side of my arm here. So there you can see what they look like. They're really pretty, so I definitely recommend those if you guys are looking for some duochrome shadows. I absolutely love them. Now my Miss single is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadow Glitter Single in Brass. And this is what it looks like. The first layer was great. It was like hard and crusty and had great glitter in it and after that I realized that it's actually a gel which mm -mm. but not something I'm gonna cake on my eyelid and I probably won't use and that's after making like several swipes in it so it's not a true like glitter you know if you want a full glitter eyelid this is not for you if you want a few sparkles here and there it might be something you like. The only thing I don't like, of course, with all glitters, it's really hard to get off. But I feel like because this is a gel type consistency, it's even harder to get off. So I don't recommend this. This was a miss. The nice thing is it's only a dollar, so I didn't really lose much. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about are four lip products. The first one is a lip gloss by NYX. It's the Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Raspberry Tart. I love their butter gloss. I'm definitely going to buy more. This is not sticky at all, and it has a really, really pretty color. Let me show you guys right here. It goes on great, really smooth. It's just a sheer bright pop of color, so I feel like it'd be great in the summer or spring, or even with just some mascara, blush, and then this lip color. Now, which one should I go to? The one I'm wearing right now, I'll talk about that. This is a Palladio, I think I'm saying it right, Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color. And I absolutely love the packaging of this. It looks like a little lipstick tube, but it's actually liquid lip color. And this is what I have on right now, like I said. It's so pretty. This goes on so great. The only thing is this is something you need a lip liner with, and it does take a little time to put on. Because it's such a dark color, it's hard to get it like perfect around the edges. I don't have it perfect around the edges right now, but I think a lip liner would definitely help. I just don't have a lip liner in this color. This is what it looks like. Here's a swatch of it. And I don't think you'd be disappointed in this at all. I really, really do like this um, lip product. It's great. It reminds me of the NYX Liquid Suede, which I'm going to talk about one of them. It goes on pretty um, smooth. It's not very runny. And let me compare it right now to the NYX Liquid Suede. This is in the shade Soft Spoken. You can kind of see that they go on. They're both a little shiny when they go on, but with time they do dry to a mat. They don't dry super quickly, but they do dry. And they're both of them, they're not drying at all. And that's what surprised me about this one, especially being such a dark matte shade. I thought my lips would look really flaky and dry, but no, it doesn't. And same with this NYX Liquid Suede one. Not drying at all. You guys will really like it if you spend your money on that. And I think that one's like $8 or $6 or something. So they're both... They're both cheap, they're both worth it. You can get them both at Ulta. The next one I'm going to talk about is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. And this is in the shade Beeper. And this goes on very runny, but it dries very quickly to a perfect matte. 
And let me just show you, that's just one swipe that I did there so you can see how pigmented this is. This is more of a true tan compared to the liquid suede. So this is more mauve colored, more pinky undertones. This is just like a light brown. It's very like neutral, very cool colors, but definitely recommend these. If you're gonna buy anything, go for these because you're gonna absolutely love them. And I believe those are all the colors I was gonna show you. I thought I had one more, but that's all of them. So I recommend the two NYX products I showed you, the Palladio, I'm sorry, this was in the shade Damask. I don't think I said that. I'll put the description down below, so if you wanna look for it, you can find it. Definitely recommend this ColourPop and their shadow, you guys. It's a great brand. Definitely check it out. You get $5 off when you make your first purchase as well. And what else did I show you? Don't buy this. Buy this as a highlight. Buy the Naked Palette. Skip out on the Day to Night LA Color Sunset Palette. So that sums it up. I hope you guys like my video. Please subscribe. Keep watching. I want to have some more tutorials and hauls coming up soon. Thank you guys so much.